Hey everybody, welcome back to Unbelievable English. I'm here with my friends Toby and Gugu. They're pretty great, and I love to hang out with them. But not everybody gets to hang out with their own furry friends. So in the game I'll be showing you today, Century Gollum Edition, we'll be making our own friends. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the components for this game, Century Gollum Edition. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you're going to start with something that looks like this. You're going to have your wagon, which will hold gems. We'll talk about the gems in a minute. You can have a maximum of 10 gems on any given turn. You can never have more than that. Yellow gems are the cheapest gems. They're the easiest to get, and you start, if you're the first player, with three of them. The second and third players will get four yellow gems. And if you're the fourth and or fifth players, you'll get three yellows and one green gem. Green gems are the next step up. They're the second cheapest. They're the next level from the yellows. The gems themselves, we have yellow, green, blue, and pink or red or purple, whatever this color is, whatever you want it to be is okay. And these gems are... Uh, are in ascending order. So green is the next step up from yellow. Blue is the next step up from green. Pink or purple or red, this is the most valuable, the most expensive, the fourth gem type. We're gonna have two cards at the beginning of the game to go along with our wagon. These cards will be in our hand. We'll be holding them and choosing when and how to use them. Uh, this first card gives you two yellow gems, pretty straightforward. You play the card, and you take two yellow gems. This card is a little less straightforward. This card has two colorless, they're gray, gems, and an arrow pointing up. This lets you change two levels on your gems. So I can take two yellow gems, and I can change them into two green gems. That would be one step and another step. That's two steps. Or I could take one yellow gem and I could change it first into a green. That's one step. And then from the green into a blue. That's the second step. So one step, two steps. So I can change one yellow into one blue. Or I can take two yellows and change them into two, uh, two greens. And this isn't just for yellows. If I already have a blue and a green here on my wagon, then I could change that green one step into blue, two steps into pink. I could change that green into a pink. That's not a problem. I could make that change using this card. All right. So we've talked about what the starting cards can do. The other cards we have here in this bottom row, these are cards that we'll be able to take during the game, and I'll explain that during gameplay. But there are three kinds of cards that we want to look at. If we have a card with no arrows, just a gem, that means that we can play the card and take the gems. Just like our starting card has no arrows. There's no arrow here, so if I play it, I can take one pink gem. That is a very valuable card. That is a very good card to have. This card, just like the one in our hand at the beginning of the game, this card allows us to make three changes to gems. So I could take a yellow gem, change it once into green, change it twice, the green into a blue, and then the third would be the blue into a pink. So this is a really valuable card. This lets me make a big jump. Or, again, I could take three yellows and turn them into three greens. I could take two greens and a blue, and I could turn that into two blues and a pink. I can take three steps, it doesn't matter which three steps, using this card. Take three steps up. 
And the last card, the last card type we'll see is the card type that has gems with colors with a down arrow into more gems with colors. And basically what this allows me to do is make that change to the uh, gems I have. But more than that, it lets me do it multiple times. So playing this card would let me t change two yellow gems into two green gems, but I can do that more than once. So if I want to, I could change four yellow gems into four green gems, or even if I had them, six yellow gems into six green gems. So I would place all those yellows back in, and I'd be able to put those green gems into my wagon, as long as I had room. So anytime you see the colors with the down arrow into more colored uh, gems, that allows me to make a big change, a big uh, switch as long as I have the, the correct number to make the switch, I can do it any number of times I want in that single turn. So that's a good one to have as well. So we've looked at the golems, we've looked at the gems, we've looked at the cards that we can pick up, and we'll talk about that later. We've talked about the cards in our hand. We've talked about all of the components in the game, except for one. There's one last thing we have to talk about. So. When I start the game, I'm going to deal out five Golem cards here. And the first Golem card in the row will always come with a Copper Coin. And if you get one of these Copper Coins, so if I were to spend four green gems and buy this Ice Cream Man Golem, I would also get this Copper Coin which is worth an additional three points. So that on the turn that I buy this, I would get eight, nine, 10, 11 points to add to my collection over here. And then these golems would slide down, but we'll talk about that in a minute. In the second row, in the second uh, spot in the row, this golem comes with a silver coin and the silver coins are worth one point. So again, bronze coins are worth three points. Silver coins are worth one point for every game. There are going to be two coins for every player in the game. So I've got it set up for a two-player game. There are four coins that can be gotten during this game. And those are all of the components, guys. Golem edition, we've got Baby Thor versus Baby Star-Lord. Baby Thor has already purchased one golem. And on your turn in this game, you can do one thing. You can take one of four choices. You have four choices. You will do one of them. The first thing you can do, as Baby Star-Lord is about to do, is you can play a card from your hand. Baby Star-Lord is going to play this card. And you can do the action that it says. So Baby Star-Lord is going to play this card. He's got one, two, three, four, five yellow gems. One, two, three, four, five. And he's going to turn those into three blue gems. And he's got one card left that he hasn't used. When you play a card, you leave it down like that. So that's one option. You can play a card from your hand. Now, it's Baby Thor's turn, and Baby Thor doesn't have any cards in her hand because she's already used all of her cards. Baby Thor is going to pick up all the cards that she's used, and that's her whole turn. And that means that it's Baby Star-Lord's turn again. Baby Star-Lord now, he is looking around. He does not want to play the card that he has, but he wants to take a card. And when you look at this row of cards here, you can take the first card for free. That card is always free to take. So that's what Baby Star Lord's gonna do. He's gonna take this card for free and put it into his hand, just like that. All these cards shift down. And we get a new card, just like that. And that means that it's Baby Thor's turn again. Baby Thor, she's gonna play a card from her hand. 
And this card lets her take two yellow gems. And it's Baby Star Lord's turn once again. He's going to look at his hand. And he's going to play the card that he just took. He's going to play this card. And he's going to change two blue gems into one pink gem and two green gems. So he's going to do exactly what the card tells him to do. And that's the end of his turn. The turns are very fast in this game. Uh, it's Baby Thor's turn. And Baby Thor wants the third card in the row. Here's the first card, the second card. Baby Thor wants this third card. Now, the first card is always free. But any other card, you have to put gems on the ones in front of it. Now, you can use any gem that you want, but generally you're going to try to use your cheap yellow gems. So Baby Thor is going to leave two gems on the cards in front, and she's going to take the third card in the row. She's going to slide down these other cards, get a new one. And now it's Baby, uh, Baby Star-Lord's turn again. Baby Star-Lord loves this first card. Plus, when he takes the first card in the row now, he's also going to get a gem. He gets that yellow gem. He'll put that in his wagon. He'll add that card to his hand, and everything moves down. And let's see, baby Thor is going to play this card, take a pink gem. And it's baby Star-Lord's turn. Baby Star-Lord is looking at what he's got. He's going to look at his hand. And Baby Star-Lord decides that he's going to use this card. And he's going to change. He's going to level up three of his gems. So he's going to... Let's see. He'll turn this blue gem into a pink gem. That's one. And then he's going to take these two green gems and turn them into blue gems. That's two and three. So he's taken three steps with his gems. He's made three level changes and it's going to be baby thor's turn baby thor let's see what does she want to do baby thor is going to take that first card in the row so she also gets that gem the first card is free and then it's Baby Star-Lord's turn. Baby Star-Lord is going to use the last card that he has in his hand, and he's going to change these two yellow gems into two green gems. And that means that it's Baby Thor's turn. Baby Thor is going to use this card. And she's going to change... Well, no, you know what? Time out. Let's move back. Baby Thor is going to buy a golem because that's the fourth thing. We saw the first thing, play a card from our hand. We've seen the second thing, take a card from the row. We've seen the third thing, pick up all of our cards. And here's the fourth one. Baby Thor is going to buy a golem. So she's going to spend two yellow gems and two green gems. She's going to put those back into the dispensers. And Baby Thor is going to buy this farmer golem. She's got a new friend. And because it's the second golem in the row, she's also going to get that silver coin, which is worth one point. And that's how you play this game. It's a very simple game. You'd move these down. You get a new uh, golem. And that's how you play. It's simple. It's fun. Everyone who plays this game ends up enjoying it. I hope you enjoy it too. See you soon at Unbelievable English.